Hey guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Drew Cook here with Bass Resource, and I'm gonna talk you through my springtime worm fishing tips. Um, what I use, how I use it, when I use it, why I use it. Um, pretty much got four baits, uh, worms on the deck during, during the springtime. And this is, you know, when they're coming up to spawn, staging, pre-spawn, spawning, and then when they're post-spawn, but not, you know, far away from the beds. They're still lingering up there. They're chasing brim and stuff like that. And the one that you have to have, everyone's gonna have it, every pro has it, um, is gonna be the Wacky Rig. This is a five inch trick stick from Big Bite. Um, my Wacky Rig setup, uh, I'll vary the rod a little bit, um, you know, depending on where we are. But most of the time, it's a Dobbins Ecstasy. This is a 723. Um, it's just a great overall, you know, length, action, you know, medium heavy uh, rod. And I'm gonna have, I like 12 pound braid. Um, you could probably do it with 10, you could probably do it with 15. 12 is just my, my go-to, um, SX braid from Sunline. And I'm gonna have anywhere from eight to eight to 14 pound liter. And 14 pound liter, you know, might scare a bunch of people away on a spinning rod because you know, it's, you're, you're not finessing, but when you're at Santee Cooper or somewhere like that where there's big fish and you can get away with it, you might as well do it. But most of the time it's 10 pound sniper. Um, and I normally have a, a, a little bit longer leader than most, uh, probably I'd say about 20 foot. Um, that way it's, it's on the reel. You've got plenty of, um, you know, cranks to bury that knot just in case something happens. Cause if you have an eight pounder next to the boat and you know, you're trying to land them, you don't want to worry about the knot. So I go a little bit longer on my leader. Um, I have a number one G finesse, um, weedless stinger. I feel like that's the, the best, um, wacky rig hook that, that you could, you could get and the the titanium keepers you know it, it it keeps the grass off really well and the titanium keepers if you're ever around the uh the the mucky grass so like the the cheese type stuff that's mixed in with the hydrilla or whatever it is it, it slides off of this really easy whereas one that has a you know a fluorocarbon line or weed guard it'll stick to it a little bit a little bit more but that that's my that's my go-to this is from pre-spawn, you know, when they're, before they're spawning all the way till after they're spawning, um, you know, you can actually catch fish off bed on it. It's one of the first casts I make at a at a bed fish. You can blind fish it around docks, you know, leading into the the pocket where you're gonna, you know, have the fish bedding. So that's go, that's gonna be always on the deck. And to combat that, well, I have two, uh, you know, stick baits. I have a regular trick stick on a bait caster, 20 pound line, a five aught um, hybrid worm hook, Gamagatsu. And this is more, you know, the water's a little bit dirtier, kind of in thicker stuff, maybe like way in pads. Somewhere where like you, you, you want some meat to, to get them out. Um, I'm throwing this on a, on a pretty big rod for a weightless Cinco or style bait. You know, it's a 744. Um, Champion XP or Champion HP. This is the same rod that I, I uh, sight fish with, so it, it's got got some meat. 20 pound uh, shooter, and this is going to be whenever like the fish are in you know behind something in holes in in pads or you know somewhere whenever you can throw it in there, get the bite, and I mean lay the hammer to them and, and, and get them coming where whereas with the spinning rod you know you kind of just got to hook them and then go get them this is one that you're going to bring out and you're fishing it the same way um you know you're flipping it around the docks and, and throwing it in these pad fields and and on these flats you know when the fish are just randomly spawning you know all out on a flat where it has you know some sandy bottom mixed with some grass you're going to throw this out there and you know kind of fish it like a carolina rig really um and that's that's one of one of my go-tos. Yes, three stick baits. This is a Texas rig, and this is really more uh, Florida, um, South Georgia, Florida fishing. This is a black and blue blue tip. That's just a staple down there. 
and I'm gonna have this Texas rigged. Um, that's a five alt uh, Gamagatsu G flipping punch hook. Um, my weight's gonna vary a little bit uh, depending on how thick the pads are. You know, if it's like a thick line of pads, I'll probably bump it up to like a half ounce. If it's, you know, a like really sparse, isolated, you know, single pads, I'm, I'm probably gonna go all the way down to a quarter. But a three eighths is where I where I normally stay. I've got this on a 754 Dobbins Ecstasy. I've got a you know a high gear ratio reel, 22 pound Sunline shooter, and I will even do this on braid. Um, but whenever it's you you know you're fishing the braid, it's got to be really thick, and uh, I'll either do straight braid or I'll do braid to a leader just because of the sound in, in the actual pads. But that's gonna be one where you're, you're flipping to isolated targets, you know, flipping to reeds, where the fish are, you know, either spawning or staging on that stuff to spawn. In Florida, you know, a lot of the fish, a lot of the bottom is mud. So the fish only can spawn on the actual roots of the pads. And that's where this bait shines, this setup is, key i've done very well in florida with this um and growing up there that's that's something that you had to learn to do and the last one is also i'm, I'm not going to call it a florida thing um but it's it's really you know mostly florida it's a swimming worm this is a big bite tour swim worm i'll i'll throw two of them and uh i throw one on braid um if it's you know, really thick and gnarly. You know, this is all situational. The other one I'll throw on, you know, anywhere from 16 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. But on the one on braid, I'm throwing this on a 723 Dobbins Ecstasy. You got a high gear ratio reel. This is 50 pound um, Sunline FX2 braid. And I've got a small weight on here, relatively speaking. This is a 3 16 I've got a 5 alt Gamagatsu um, hybrid worm hook. And this is what you're gonna you're gonna reel around those same areas that you're you're pitching that um, Texas rig drop or stick bait and you know throwing that wacky rig around. If you're on one of those big flats, you can you can reel this thing. Uh, the braid, whenever I use it, it's normally I'm reeling it pretty quick. You know, on the surface, subsurface. You know, going through the pad holes, going across the pads. Um, the one where I throw fluorocarbon, it's gonna be more of a slower slower wind. Um, you know, staying, keeping the bait down. But those are the must have worms for me in the, the spring, in the go, you know, around the spawn all the way until I would say, you know, around May uh, before everything gets really, really further along and starts moving out. I'm gonna have those rods on my deck during that time of year.